Welcome on in. So, Blunderbuss and Rapier. Kind of a weird weapon combo. Scaling from Strength, Intel, and Dexterity. Uh, yeah, this is a weapon combo that I had tried back when Blunderbuss came out, and I actually really enjoyed playing it. So I wanted to re-explore it uh, over a year after Blunderbuss's release. There's been a lot of changes to the game, and especially with those Rune Glass gems, I feel like there's a lot more potential for a build like this. Either way, I put the build together and I brought it out into PvP. I only played it for about two hours uh, this day, but I do want to be playing this a lot more because it was a very fun and mobile build to play. Now, offensively, the combinations between Blunderbuss and Rapier are kind of strange because you don't really have a lot of synergy between the different staggers and the knockdowns that you can get with the weapons. However, what I found the Blunderbuss and Rapier combo actually did really well was the Rapier is a good weapon to get in and and deal damage and the blunderbuss is a great weapon to deal damage as you're getting out so you get a good in and out offensive pressure with these weapons something that i'm pretty new to though i like i said only played this build for a couple hours and uh besides that i haven't played it for over a year so i am going to be working hard to get these combos a little bit cleaner but there you see i do manage to pick up a kill with the blunderbuss and uh, the other enemy fire mage here, he actually ends up fighting me for a little bit until more friendlies show up. I've got another clip of the blunderbuss in action, this time some open world PvP for you guys. And uh, I think open world PvP, you don't necessarily fight uh, as well versed PvP opponents, but I do love the excitement of finding flag players in open world and you never really know what you're going to run into. So I see these two guys and I start by just poking them with the blunderbuss. I actually just wanted this to be more of a fight rather than me jumping on top of one of them at the beginning right away. A nice amount of damage with the rapier backstab there and there I think is a good uh, example of the inexperience with my build. Instead of rolling all the way out of that and trying to shoot the blunderbuss at that far distance, I should have stayed close, unloaded the shrapnel blast into the net shot and uh, then had that distance broken but after I dealt all that big boy damage. Um, this was actually the first PvP fight I got in on this build, so yeah, <laughs> I, I'm definitely learning the combos there. There I throw down the cannon into the flourish and finish the healer standing in his heals. Um, he's able to just soak that up. But this healer is remaining very stationary. He's just kind of standing in one spot and throwing heals down on himself or his friendly. Uh, a bad read on that incoming heavy attack, so I just slip out of there with the rapier and my plan is to try to go around the top here and drop down on the healer. Again, you see me unload all of that blunderbuss and just miss basically all of it because I was way too far away. I have to do that combo differently. I have to use the offensive moves to unload before I go out of there. And I get good damage on the healer. He right away goes into his uh, potion and he drops off the edge again. The great axe player right on my tail. And then there's the gap close from the blunderbuss into the light attack, the Azoth shrapnel blast and the evade in and uh yeah do manage to kill the healer he was he was just kind of holding still at the end there though so there wasn't uh, a lot that he did to try to stop me that being said we've left uh just this enemy heavy armor great axe player left this combo does pretty well against these kinds of builds i think because you can just kite around them and apply so much pressure while you do it with the blunderbuss um but yeah again kind of my inexperience with this weapon here for sure and I think in this fight was the only time that Hookshot actually was useful for me. So I might actually drop Hookshot entirely on the Blunderbuss because I find in PvP I'm having a tough time really utilizing it. But maybe against a ranged opponent it'll be a little bit more useful. Either way, I do manage to get the kill on this guy with a big blast from the Blunder at the end. But yeah, I'm sure we've all been here and died in this spot. I don't know how to get out of here. I tried to teleport back to safety. Did not work. So that uh, that is that. I've got one more clip for you guys here today. And this one is no more blunderbuss. I'm sorry. Um, but I will be playing that blunderbuss rapier build a lot in the next couple days. So I hope to be sharing a lot more footage. And hopefully a build video with you guys very soon. Got some fire staff rapier inside of outpost rush here. My favorite build to play in the game. And... Uh, yeah, nice this patch, that's for sure. The enemy player standing on top of the heels. I actually get a lot of damage into him with the fire staff there. The AoE's uh, doing work, and it forces him to retreat, use his heal, and then I try to go into the middle to jump on top of him. He rolls back, so I end up going back through the other side and decide to go for the burnout here. An enemy mage does connect his burnout on me, but that's okay. I dive in, go for the fireball, and then the cannon blast. One enemy player goes down. The other enemy player staying right on my tail. 
but the burns man he did not react to the burns and put the potion in himself in time so by the time i turned around there he's already at a quarter health and i managed to pick up the kill on him as well and uh, then I'm just going to do that squirrely game with the Fire Staff and Rapier. Uh, here I go behind the corner just to LOS as best I can and wind up that burnout. I try to take it a bit wide to land on top of this guy with the explosion. I don't hit him with the explosion, but huge damage with the Rapier. And he manages to get a great counter to stop my combo with the Repost. And he doesn't try to punish me. He instead just goes back behind some cover and heals himself. And now I've got two Fire Mages on me. That's always a good time. Managed to make it inside just in time, and there is the burnout, and I do actually squeak away to safety here. Here's a quick breakdown of the Blunderbuss build, if you guys want to see what I'm running so far, and uh, yeah, I'll be sharing more of it with you guys as soon as possible. If you want to catch me live on Twitch, there's a link down below for you. Check out my website, PvP New World, for written guides to all of my builds. And of course, if you have some clips that you want to see in a New World Top 5 fight, so you can send that to Christopher at pvpnewworld.com. This show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. If you want to get a deal with your first purchase with them, you can with the link down below. And last but not least, a massive thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon for supporting. I'm excited to play and practice this build, hopefully give you guys some better footage of it. Otherwise, have a great night, and I'll see you guys next time.